Next guest is a true man of his word. Last time he was here, it was our first show, and he said he would return with the NBA championship trophy. Here today, it's our 100th show. From your 2010 world champion Los Angeles Lakers, the NBA Finals MVP, number 24, Kobe Bryant. so much during the NBA Finals. Yes, if you guys don't know, George is at Game 7 going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give you a shirt that symbolizes our Cinco titles. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. How great yes. is that? How great yes. is that? It's only right, man. It's only How right. How do we do it? Cinco! <laughs> Let's, yeah. where do I put this? Let's put it right here. Okay. First of all, Kobe gave everybody in our audience a Nike All Together Now t-shirt created especially for the NBA Finals. So everybody's... I got... Listen, I, I, I've been a Laker fan my whole life. I'm older than you from before you were born. First of all, I never thought that I would see my reflection yeah. in the Larry O'Brien Trophy yeah. in all of my life. That's it, is, man. That's it. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's it. I seen Wilt Chamberlain play. I saw Kareem Abdul-Jabbar play. I was in high school when Magic was a rookie. Through the 80s, through the 90s, and, and I want to say something because we're friends, but as a fan, you are the greatest Laker who has no. ever played. Okay. Cinco. Tu sabes cinco. Cinco. To you, where does this one, this one rank? It's, uh, to me, it's number one. It's number one. It's number one. Just because, you know, it's the challenge that the Celtics presented to us. I mean, they were an incredible team. And then, you know, to be down 3-2, and them, and them just be one game away from getting that championship. And then us getting the last two. I mean, it just, it just makes everything worthwhile. And, and game seven at home, you, yeah. you've been playing. You've never heard Staples Center like that, right? <laughs> no, no, you know, you know what's funny is that you know, for the first three and a half quarters, I mean, the whole place, I mean, you can actually, this is not a sound, but it, you can actually hear this. <laughs> that makes any sense. That's what the place sounded like. It was just. <laughs> and then we made a run, and the place just blew up. And uh, I've never quite heard it like that. Did you see my crazy ass running? I around? did. You know what? I, I saw it. We're up on a, we're up on a, you know the little platform that they put up. And you know you got the commissioner there. You got Bill Russell there. And I look over to my left, and I see George stand over there like this. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Man, I, I tell you, I, I cried three times. I was crying. Man. I had my hands in my head. I had my crazy ass pants on. You saw my pants? I, you know what? Dude, I was going to bring that up. I didn't want to. <laughs> but, you know, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so, so um, uh, when, when, when the ball came to our side of the court and you were running after it as time w was, was winding down, how, 
how is what's that like? Oh, uh, that that right there is the greatest feeling in the world. I mean, Lamar threw the ball, and then at that point, you just know that there's no chance for him to win, and you're just running after the ball. And I'm just like, I just felt like I swept like a little kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, it was, just, it was amazing. It was absolutely it's amazing. Oh man, it's such it, a and you, talk, and you talk about, you know, people play for a lot of money, but yeah. in that instant, you were a little kid running after that ball. You know, at heart, you still have to keep that because, you, you know, you come to the NBA and you're surrounded by all this hype and all this pressure. If you lose that innocence, you know, that you had when you were a kid to play the game, then you lose everything. You know, so it's the joy of just playing the game that really fulfills me. And that's just, just incredible. I love that. I love that about you. I love, I love you know, I, I love everything about you. <laughs> speaking, 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 speaking of... Speaking of keeping it, staying boyish, yeah. you took Vanessa and the kids to Disneyland, yeah, yeah. right? Let's take Looking a picture, Disneyland check this out. <laughs> Paul Pierce, Paul Pierce still on him. Still trying to, <laughs> still trying, the game's over. <laughs> Now, when you 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 love you love amusement parks. Oh yeah, I love you it. love Disneyland. Absolutely. Now, do you, you go on the rides? Every single one of them. You, the Every road, single Matterhorn? one. Matterhorn. Uh, Matterhorn. Um, actually, I'm I'm scared of the teacups. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, tell really, everybody like, why. Spin it. That spinning around stuff, man. I, you know, my my kids. She wanted to get on it. Our youngest one. Let's go on the teacups. Get on the teacups. And, uh, you know, they don't like teacups. <laughs> no, we gotta do the teacups. Uh, okay, let's go. So I'm looking at me, I'm just looking at it right in the face. I'm just spinning the thing around, I'm just doing this. <laughs> I'm trying not to look any place else, I'm just staying focused, you know what I mean? Do you fit in the teacup or are you all like this? I'm just <laughs> you fit? I fit. I fit. I, I, no, it's the, it's the rise lane. Let's see, what's the, the most uncomfortable ride is Space Mountain. I, I'm sitting there oh, like yeah, this. Oh, yeah, oh, exactly. Right, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody's wondering, will Phil, will Phil Jackson stay as coach, Kobe? Uh, you know, I hope so. You know, I, I, I talked to him a little bit um, since, and um, you just got to make sure he's, he's healthy and ready to go. I mean, he's, he's been doing this for a long, long time, long time. for a long, long time. So uh, I think if he feels like he's you know, physically fit to be able to go at it again, I'm sure he will be. I mean, he has 11 championships. So, yeah, I tell him, come on, what's one more? One more, yeah, one more. What's one more season? Like, come on, come on. You can do one more. When he, st when, he st when he stands up, he looks a little bit like Dracula getting out of the coffin. Yeah, you ever see that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? A little bit, a little bit Dracula. You're right. You're right. You see, it's his whole, that's his whole mystique. That's his whole, you know, <laughs> that's his whole zen thing. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, he really, when you see Phil really walk, you know, he's in practice. He's <laughs> walking around. <laughs> <laughs> How great is that? So, so um, it, your plans, part of the plans is you, you love uh, soccer. Oh, yeah. You grew up in, in Italy. Absolutely, right. So, you're going to the World Cup. I'm going to the World Cup, and uh, I'm excited to see our USA team. Yes. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. Incredible. So, I, you know, I'm excited to see them, and uh, yeah, I can't wait, man. I've, I've been a soccer fan forever. So, this is like a, this is a big deal for me. This is a big deal for you. This we don't have to tell you, is a big deal for every Laker fan, yeah. young and old. Thank you for being on the first show, and thank you for coming back, yes, my brother, and thank you for the 100th show. Congratulations, enjoy your summer. Now, for you all to get your chance to win a Nike All Together t-shirt, go to LopezTonight.com. Your NBA Finals MVP. Come back, you will see Christ the